So we're going to start with percentages instead of M and REM, just because it's much easier to understand how they work. Um, so if we look at a layout like this, and we will be making this layout in the next module of the course, once we've learned how to think responsibly, because we're going to make it responsive, we're going to make this work on small screens up to big screens, and that's going to be our project in the next one. But for now, just looking at this and thinking about it with what we know at the moment, I would have a set width on the total size of this. So say I say the entire document here is 960 pixels. So I set a width, you know, I put a container on the whole thing or something, and I say width 960 pixels. So that's fine. And this is a common size we used to use in the really, really old days. And then I have the two parts here. So I need to define an individual width for the left and the right side. So I might say, well, I want that left side to be about 70% of that. So I need to calculate what that is. So I do 960 times 0.7, and that would give me 672 pixels. So now I know the width, and I'd set the width of 672 pixels for my left side. But then there's also the other side, and I have to find out the fixed pixel value for that side. And all, then I also have padding in there. So then I'd have to start subtracting padding and doing all this. Oh, it, it's annoying, right? <laughs> you don't want to have to start thinking about all of these things. And this is for a fixed width. Imagine now you're trying to bring all those numbers into it for you're trying to like adjust it for different screen sizes. So instead of complicating matters, when we think responsively, we want to simplify matters. A big part of thinking responsibly, and sorry if I ever say respon responsibly, <laughs> they're so similar. Um, so if we when we start to think responsively, it's all about trying to simplify and not complicate matters. So you remember this layout, we just finished it. But let's say we wanted to turn this into a more responsive layout instead of the fixed layout like we have now, we can do that. So let's go and take a look at how we can do it. Um, and you can probably guess the one thing that we really need to change is this fixed container width, because right now it has a width of 620 pixels. So we have a set width on that container. I'm also going to turn this border back on just so we can really visualize what's happening while we're playing with this. So I'm going to save that for the moment. We're going to come and take a look at it. And you can see when I play with the screen size, we're set at 620 pixels. So it's working at big screens. But if we go smaller, all of a sudden, I run into this problem where I have side scrolling. So I get a scroll bar to go left and right because my screen is too small for the content that's in there. My content is wider than my viewport width, and that causes the side scrolling issue. So if I was going to open this page on a cell phone, that would it, it just wouldn't work, right? I would get this issue. I wouldn't be able to see it. I get this weird problem there that I'm not even going to worry about right now. Um, it just does not look good. So how can we fix it? As I mentioned, we want to change this from a, a set width to a percentage. So what I want you to do right now is change this over to a percentage. It has to be 100% or less, and I would go with less than 100%. It would defeat the purpose of the container, if not. Try different sizes, see what they look like, play around with the screen size in the player here. And then once you're happy and you sort of see what's going on, I'm going to dive in and we'll look into it in a little bit more detail. Great. So I'm, you know, it's pretty evident. Let's say I do 50% on this. I think it's obvious what's going to happen is those containers are now 50% of the total screen size. You might have got a little surprise with your image sticking off the side, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But we can see with the container now, as I grow or shrink my screen, the container is adjusting itself automatically, which is pretty cool, I think. Because we know the container's width is set to 50%, I know I have 25% on the left there and 25% on the right left over. So that's pretty cool that I can sort of make this container that adapts to my screen size. Now, the problem is my image. So before we see how we can actually fix that thing that's going on with the image and understanding that, what I really want you to understand is what is this 50% of? So if my container is 50%, it's always going to be 50% of its parent. So we have a few different containers here. As we can see, this container here is 50% of section one. This one is 50% of my header. And this one is 50% of section two. Now, my header, my section one, and my section two don't have widths on them. And block level elements by default have a width of 100%. So section one, section two, and my header are all 100% of my screen size. So that just means that my container ends up being 50% of my screen size. Now, what would happen if I came and set a width of 500 pixels on my header? Can you take a guess before you come and look at what's actually happening on the page? what do you think has happened to the container that was inside my header? So let's go and take a look at it. And you can see that I've limited my header to 500 pixels. And this container is 50% of that 500. So I had 25% there, 50% here, and then another 25% there. 
So this container is now smaller than this container on this side because each one is only looking at its parent and it's not looking at anything else. Now, normally I'm not gonna have a set width on something because that makes that whole thing look pretty ugly. So we're gonna get rid of that and go back and take a look at it. And there we go, we fix that. So just remember always when you're using a percentage, that percentage is always relative to its parent. But a lot of the time, the parent is just defaulting to 100%. We're going to run into situations where maybe that's a little bit different. Even if you feel a little bit confused right now, in the long run, it does actually make our lives much, much, much easier. I'm going to leave this video for here so you can play around with it a little bit. Make sure you really understand how that's working. If you're a little bit unclear, try playing with the width of your header of your section one and your section two to really see how this affects it. And then maybe even play around with this width as a percentage just to really make sure it's clear. And then once you've figured that out, in the next video, we're going to look at how we can fix that problem that's going on with the image.